when you seek for the presence of God, you have to be very, very careful which one you will find. Mm. There is the presence of God that has to be kept away from you, depending on the flexibility of your neck. Ah, ah. God is saying, because you are so hard to convince. <laughs> you see, so, so, so you have to now to understand that in as much as God is omnipresent, there is no way that God was going to be absent mm. in the way. Mm. He is supposed to be there. And yet he said, my presence shall not go. So we need to investigate which presence did God chose to withhold from his people. Because he's supposed to be present mm. and at the same time be absent. Mm. Mm. Because he's got different manifestations. So he's saying there is a kind of presence that you will have with you on your way into the promised land. But there is another presence that if that presence goes with you, it will consume you. Now we are at a place where something again has to be launched here yes, so that people can be educated. I've seen millions of believers wondering why they are in trouble every single day, suffering every single day tormented every single day. And the anointing of God upon the men of God doesn't seem to deliver them from such afflictions. Hmm. Why? Because the anointing of God is never designed by God to cast out another anointing. Especially when it is an anointing that is giving you problems. I would want our viewers to listen to this because it's very important. Yes. The power God has given to us works so well against an opposing force from the kingdom of the devil. <laughs> When you want to use the anointing of God against the anointing of God, it will be so difficult, mm. so hard. Mm. This is why you see it wasn't easy for David to kill Saul mm. because he kept on talking about the anointing, the oil that was upon Saul. Mm. Mm. Even the guy that came and he claimed to have killed Saul, mm. Mm. He said, how, how dare you touch the anointed of mm. the Lord? Mm. So because there was anointing upon the life of David, it was hard for David to fight against another anointing. Mm. Why was it so easy for Saul mm. to fight against David, who was also anointed? Because an evil spirit had come upon him. Oh. An evil spirit had now come upon him. And also they were anointed with different oils. The other oil came from a vessel. The other oil came from a horn. Wow. Two different anointings. When you, when you have a superior anointing, you cannot fight another anointing. Mm. When you find yourself <laughs> fighting another anointing you have an inferior anointing that which came from a vessel mm. but when your oil came from a horn mm. when you encounter another anointing you mm. respect it mm. you honor it mm. that's how you know that what you got was the best wow the anointing is never the same but look, look at this now. I'm on the issue of the presence of God. Now I'm about to answer the most complicated question. 
Why is it that Christians are suffering more than drug lords? Why is it prayer is failing to produce financial results for the intercessors? If God would only give money to those dedicated to him, then missionaries should be the richest people on the earth. True. And yet today terrorists, they have more money mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. Christians. Mm -hmm. Criminals, they have more money mm -hmm. than Christians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the reason? Is God going to bless his people on the basis of his love? Or he blesses people on the basis of principles? Mm. 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 Is God blessing his people on the basis of love or on the basis of principle? Mm. If the material blessings of God were going to be according to God's love, then Christians would have been richer. Indeed, Father. Mm. 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 Than all the drug cartels that you can think of. Why are the missionaries so poor? Mm. Yet they are fulfilling God's mandate. Mm. They love God and they are loved by God, but why is it that they don't have what it takes even to sustain their ministries? Mm. There is a violation of a certain principle. They are going by a certain presence of God. Mm. Most believers, most Christians are suffering today because of a certain presence of God. Yes. There is a presence of God <laughs> that will create problems for you. Ah. You must understand that there is a part of God that you must never ask him for unless you are flexible enough. He said, because you're a stiff-necked people, my presence shall not go with you. If that presence of mine is to go with you, while you are in that state, you die in the way. Mm. So what God is saying here is, the only thing that can guarantee your arrival or your longevity is the absence of that presence. Hey. Mm. If that presence is present, you die early. Mm. Mm. Christians are dying early mm. because of that kind of a presence that has not been investigated mm. by the body of Christ. You want to arrive, he said, unless you want to die in the way, but if you want to arrive, and enter into the promised land and, and, and do businesses and make money. There is a kind of presence that I have to withhold from you. I don't have to give you that one. Mm. I want God's children to hear this. Yes, so finally, when you find millions of the children of Israel entering into the promised land, you have to know that it's because there is a presence that they have left in that place. And if that presence was to go with them, they wouldn't have arrived. Now to begin to think that, what kind of a presence of God is that? That if I'm to receive it today, I will soon be buried. 
I thought every presence of God comes to edify, yes. make me better, yes. improve me. And God is saying, because if I'm to allow this presence of mine to go with you, we will get to a point where I demand that you make a left turn. And because of this stiffness of your necks, you will disagree with me. And it is at that time when I want you to take a certain direction and because of your doctrines, mm. hey, mm. you will start arguing with that anointing, with that presence. Mm. And by reason of that conflict, you die in the way. Mm. You will die in the way. Mm. I would rather stay behind and then you go. You make a move which is good according to your understanding. As long as I'm present and I'm giving you orders and you disobey, that presence will consume you. People have asked God for a certain presence of God they know nothing about concerning its maintenance. Mm. They've been begging God for that kind of presence and when they got the, that presence, they don't know how to be led by that presence of God. Mm. Yet they are being consumed in the way. Mm. This God that you follow, my brother, can make your life miserable. <laughs> mm. This anointing can make you poor. Mm. This anointing, this presence, you can be fired your first day at work. Let me show you something here. Somebody asked me a question. This person was uh, working very, very close to me. In fact, I had given him an assignment, a position, a responsibility in one of my areas. And then while he was working there, he noticed that there were some challenges that he never used to face in the secular world. A very well qualified gentleman. Mm. Yet he was finding simple things to be so difficult. And there were so many mistakes so many errors, delays, and problem after problem, and they, it seemed like the problems were so systematic, very organized. Mm. The disorder was organized. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> An orderly disorder. Mm. Then he brought the matter up. He said, I've noticed that this is the trend. Why are things happening the way they are happening? And I said to him, call me in the evening and I'll explain to you what is happening. And the reason why I needed him to call me in the evening, because I realized that he needed the whole sermon on this particular subject. It's not a yes, no answer. I needed to lay scripture upon another scripture mm. and upon another scripture mm. and bring him to that place of understanding where he begins to appreciate that anointing more than trying to resist it. Mm. 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 And I told him that we have a blessing that we got from God that works like a curse, if not properly understood. Mm. Mm. That's the blessing that most Christians have. Mm. It's like a curse. <laughs> 
you can carry that blessing to a man of God and ask him to cast it out of you. And then he fails. Mm. Why? Because I've told you, yes. no anointing can cast another anointing. Yes. It could be an anointing mm. that is making you broke. Let me, let me, let me explain that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> These anointed men of God that God has sent and ordained, failing to deliver Christians from miseries, from poverty. Indeed, Father. Why are these generational cases refusing to break? Mm. Is it the absence of an adequate anointing upon the men of God? Mm. Or the anointing that is present upon the men of God is trying to fight mm. another anointing upon a believer? <laughs> Okay, so I said to him, let's talk in the, in the evening. Then in the evening, he called me. I said, I'm, I'm, I hope you have time. Because we are about to have a session here. Let me explain to you how this, this question that you have asked me today, you should have asked me the day I appointed you. From the way that you have raised your question, you sound like, you have discovered a case. Mm. You are suspecting that there is the presence of a demon in your dealings. And you want an anointing to come and rescue you and, and, and set, you, set you free. Let me explain to you concerning a blessing that God has given to his people that manifests like a generational case. Mm. Yet it is a generational blessing. Because mm. many people have that question. Men of God, prophet, talk to me about why is it that everything I touch dies? There's nothing that I do that works. Mm. Nothing that I start that I finish. Mm. I've never arrived. I've had nice dreams, good ideas. Mm. But when it comes to implementation, fulfilling my goal, my purpose, it is so hard for me. Deliver me from this case. Yet what he's asking for is deliverance from an anointing by another anointing. Ah which is never going to work because this is why you see, uh, you study your Bible, you will understand that uh, uh, when <laughs> Jacob was invited by his son Joseph in the presence of Pharaoh, <laughs> in Egypt, Jacob, the Bible says, blessed. <laughs> Who? Father. Yes. He blessed him. So there was an anointing placed upon Pharaoh, Pharaoh. which was a bad system, mm. which would enslave his own children. Mm. Hence now when it was time for God to deliver his people from the same system, he could not just kill Pharaoh because upon him now was the anointing that God himself could not fight anymore. Mm. So it took Moses days and even months to deliver God's people from an anointing. It was no longer just a case. It was an anointing that was <sighs> holding God's people hostage. An anointing. Aye. So it was difficult for him. Mm. It was hard for him. Why would God kill God's Ghetto and mosquitoes were coming and lies and, and all the darkness and water was turning into blood and and, and, and even the first bones. Why not just kill the Pharaoh? Yes. Because somebody had anointed, somebody had blessed mm. the system. Okay. So it was hard now for an, an anointed Moses to deliver God's people from an anointing, mm. from the blessing. 
from the blessing. Hmm. This is probably the reason why your man of God is failing to deliver you from your demon because you don't have any. You have an anointing. You have a blessing. <laughs> 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 oh, 